Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of x plus square root of x minus 64 is equal to 16. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, because into here in the left side, we have square root, square root, so we will square in both sides. So, into this side, we square it, which is square root of x plus square root of x minus 64 we square in this side is equal to this side which is 16 square then from this side it is in the form of a plus b then bracket square which is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square then because this side is in this form which is equal to this form so we'll apply this form which is a square it will be this which is square root of x bracket square then plus 2ab it will be 2 times a it is square root of x times b it is this square root of x minus 64 then plus b square it will be this square which is square root of x minus 64 then bracket square then is equal to this 16 square it is 256 then in the next step this square root will cancel square so it will be x then plus 2 here square root square root is common so it will be 2 square root of this x times x minus 64 so it will be x bracket x minus 64 bracket then plus this square root will cancel square so it will be plus this which is x minus 64 is equal to 256 then in the next step into here x plus x is 2x then plus this so it will be plus 2 square root of x bracket x minus 64 bracket then minus 64 we take to this side it will be equal to this which is 256 this we take to this side it will be plus 64 then it will be into here into this side 2 is common so we'll take 2 out of bracket 2x divided by 2 is x 2 divided by 2 this and this will cancel so it will be plus this which is square root of x bracket x minus 64 bracket then bracket is equal to 256 plus 64 this plus this is 0 goes 1 this plus this is 11 plus 1 is 12 goes 1 1 plus 2 is 3 then into here we divide by 2 in both sides so these two and these two will cancel then it will be this which is x plus square root of x bracket x minus 64 bracket is equal to 320 divided by 2 is 160 then because here we have this square root to remove this square root we'll take first this x into this side so it will be this which is square root of x bracket x minus 64 bracket is equal to this 160 x will take to this side to be minus x then to remove this square root now we'll square in both sides so this square root will cancel this square then it will be this which is x bracket x minus 64 bracket is equal to into here 160 minus x bracket square it will be this 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 part is in the form of a minus b bracket square a is 160 b is x then bracket square so it it is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square then we'll apply this form into this part so a square it will be 160 square so into here 160 square then minus 2 a b it will be minus 2 times a is this 160 times b is this x then plus b square it will be plus 
this x square then it will be x times x is x square x times negative 64 is minus 64 x then is equal to this 160 square minus 2 times 160 times x it will be minus 320 x then plus this x square now into here x square is in both sides so this x square will cancel this x square because when you minus x square into both sides so into into here it will be this it will be the, we write this so it will be minus 64 x is equal to 160 square then minus 320 x then we put the last terms of x together so this minus 320 x will take to this side so it will be positive 320 x then minus 64 x is equal to this 160 square then this minus this 320 x minus 64 x it is 256 x which is equal to 160 square is same as 160 it is 16 times 10 then bracket square then we divide by 256 and here divide by 256 so this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to 16 times 10 bracket square is same as this times this so it will be 16 times 10 times 16 times 10 then over 256 is same as 16 times 16 then this 16 will cancel this 16 this 16 will cancel this 16 so it will be x is equal to 10 times 10 it is 100 therefore this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem now to check if this value of x is correct x is 100 back into our problem into here we'll check x is equal to 100 so we we'll substitute x which is 100 into here and here so it will be square root of x which is 100 then plus square root of x minus 64 it will be 100 minus 64 then is it equal to this 16 then square root of 100 it is 10 then plus square root of 100 minus 64 100 minus 64 it is 36 then is it equal to 16 then here it will be 10 plus square root of 36 it is 6 is equal to 16 because 10 plus 6 is 16 which is equal to 16 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is equal to 100 thank you for watching don't forget these tips to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye